Hello, my friends. I am Jacqueline Clare. Welcome back to the study along of the Advent of Divine Justice, this beautiful, powerful letter written by Shoghi Fendi, the guardian of the Baha'i faith, in 1938 to the believers in North America and Canada. If you want to know a little bit more about this project, the scope of it, why I'm doing it, you can check out the first video linked below. In short, Personally, I want to study these ideas. I think they're important to reflect on and get out into the world. And doing it this way with you on YouTube um, allows me to share the process to hopefully bring you into it and creates a little accountability to help me stick with this very important study. So thanks for joining me. If you end up enjoying this video, please hit the like button because it helps people find the video and always subscribe so that you know when I upload new ones. All right, you guys. So jumping in to paragraph 90 in my copy, it's page 93. It should be remembered that the carrying out of the seven year plan involves insofar as the teaching work is concerned, no more than the formation of at least one center in each of the Central and South American republics. The 100th anniversary of the birth of the faith of Baha'u'llah should witness if the plan already launched is to meet with success, the laying in each of these countries of a foundation, however rudimentary, on which the rising generation of the American believers may, in the opening years of the second century of the Baha'i era, be able to build. Theirs will be the task, in the course of successive decades, to extend and reinforce those foundations and to supply the necessary guidance, assistance, and encouragement that will enable the widely scattered groups of believers in those countries to establish independent and properly constituted local assemblies and thereby erect the framework of the administrative order of their faith. The erection of such a framework is primarily the responsibility of those whom the community of the North American believers have converted to the divine message. It is the task, it is a task, which must involve, apart from the immediate obligation of enabling every group to evolve into a local assembly, the setting up of the entire machinery of the administrative order in conformity with the spiritual and administrative principles governing fasting brain, the life and activities of every established Baha'i community throughout the world. No departure from these cardinal and clearly enunciated principles embodied and preserved in Baha'i national and local constitutions common to all Baha'i communities can under any circumstances be tolerated. This, however, is a task that concerns those who, at a later period, must arise to further a work which, to all intents and purposes, has not yet been effectively started. To pave the way in a more systematic manner for the laying of the necessary foundation on which such permanent national and local institutions can be reared and securely established, is a task that will very soon demand the concentrated attention of the prosecutors of the seven-year plan. No sooner has their immediate obligation in connection with the opening of the few remaining territories in the United States and Canada been discharged than a carefully laid out plan should be conceived aiming at the establishment of such a foundation. As already stated, the provision for these vast preliminary undertakings, the scope of which must embrace the entire area occupied by the Central and South American republics, constitutes the very core and must ultimately decide the fate of the teaching campaign conducted under the seven-year plan. 
Upon this campaign must depend not only the effectual discharge of the solemn obligations undertaken in connection with the present plan, but also the progressive unfoldment of the subsequent stages essential to the realization of Abdul Baha's vision of the part of the American believers, excuse me, of the part the American believers are to play in the worldwide propagation of their cause. Shogi Fini uses language that is challenging, and you can leave a comment if you know what I mean. He keeps tripping me up, but I love him very much. These undertakings, pro, preliminary, I, I'm sorry, I have fasting brain, you guys. These undertakings, preliminary as they are to the strenuous and organized labors by which future generations of believers in the Latin countries must distinguish themselves, require in turn, without a moment's delay, on the part of the National Spiritual Assembly of, and of both na national teaching and inter-America committees, painstaking investigations preparatory to the sending of settlers and itinerant teachers whose privilege will be to raise the call of the new day in a new continent. I can only in my desire to be of some service to those who are to assume such tremendous responsibilities and to suffer such self-denial attempt to offer a few helpful suggestions which I trust will facilitate the accomplishment of the great work to be achieved in the very near future. To this work that must constitute an historic, historical landmark of first-class importance when completed, the energies of the entire community must be resolutely consecrated. The number of Baha'i teachers, be they settlers or travelers, must be substantially increased the material resources to be placed at their disposal must be multiplied and efficiently administered. The literature with which they should be equipped must be vastly augmented. The publicity that should aid them in the distribution of such literature should be extended, centrally organized, and vigorously conducted. The possibilities latent in these countries should be diligently exploited and systematically developed. The various obstacles raised by the widely varying political and social conditions obtaining, uh, obtaining in these countries should be closely surveyed and determinedly surmounted. In a word, no opportunity should be neglected and no effort spared to lay as broad and solid a basis as possible for the progress and development of the greatest teaching enterprise ever launched by the American Baha'i community. No opportunity neglected, no effort spared to lay as broad and solid a basis as possible for the progress and development of the greatest teaching enterprise ever launched at that time by the American Baha'i community. And I'm sure that applies to our own efforts in the present day as well. No cutting corners, and it's all about establishing as solid and wide a foundation as possible. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me. So happy to be on this planet at this time with you. Remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.